First off, I'm behind the scenes. My name is Eli. I do all the edits and production for Mind Pump TV. I know we just hit 500,000 subscribers. Yeah. We've been trying to do a vlog for a long time. We did some to LA. Uh, we did a vlog when we went to Columbus, Ohio. I wanna show you guys behind the scenes. There's always stuff that's going on. I've learned so much about fitness, about health, about wellness, about business. I wanna hear more about what you guys wanna see and go ahead, just drop it in the comments below. If you guys have questions for the guys, if you guys have ideas, they just finished interviewing the founder of Tonal, which was awesome. The founder of Netflix as well. He just had an interview. A lot of cool, exciting stuff behind the scenes. I know they're doing some real estate deals as well. Hopefully you enjoy. I'm on lunch. I should be taking a break from this whole work thing, but what's going on guys? What's up, Justin? What's happening, brothers? What's up, dude? Just finished our two in a row there. We need to do, <laughs> I don't know, you gotta give me, yeah, direct me. We need to do something exciting. Exciting? We need to make this this vlog more exciting. I mean, I'm about to eat some burger meat. Hmm, what can I do? <laughs> and then we cut and like, do something crazy. What you need to do? Uh, then I just need to record your ID. Yeah. So tomorrow. Netflix guy. What time? 10 a.m. So we bought the place. We were just there for the first time last week. So sorry about the violation. We'll get this fixed ASAP. Please let me know if there's anything else we need to do. And then I just said... Right now, I'm in the reduced carbs kind of phase of my dieting. But I haven't given up cheese yet, okay? This is crucial because cheese is the last to go. It's a process. Okay, we're gonna build up our intensity. I'm probably about halfway there. So. Dude, my man's been doing this for 11 years, full <laughs> full time. Yeah. Like eight signings a day. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. Crazy, yeah. you see that? Off of a notary. Oh yeah. Full time, 11 years. Wow. Which one? Doug sent over an interview of him with. Uh, oh, with oh, Netflix. Tom Billy. Tom Billy's okay. interview. Okay. Okay. Oh, I saw. Okay. I haven't watched it. I've been going through his book too. Over want, at Highway 17. You want to go hard on this guy? I do. Why are we going to go hard let's, on let's him? Let's ask him about the criticisms oh. that Netflix is like super woke. Okay. Well, he's not even with Netflix now. He's Wait. not? No, he's he's founded it. He's no longer with the company. Oh, all right, all right. So that's not a good question for him. <laughs> Unless it opens up for him to I talk shit about it. You know. I love barbecue sauce, yeah. and so. This is literally the minimal amount of barbecue sauce I could possibly squeeze uh, into one of these Tupperware containers. So, tiny little amount that I'm just savoring my way through. So I just I do a little dunk, and then bite, and you know, make me feel good. Again, this has to go. This is probably has to go next week, but. We didn't have funny mic today, I was trying to bump. Look at me. Ah, I have a lot to do today. What is all this paper? This like, is what Monday. Is, what is going on here? Real estate, real estate. Hi. How long you been going for? Say what? How long you been going for? About 30 minutes. I'm, I'm fried though. Baby head. Terrible sleep last night. So, this is a gruel, grueling workout. It's like my willpower is pushing me through it and caffeine. Caffeine and willpower.
squats. like to watch him work out. That's um, awesome. Yeah, no, I just thought that was pretty cool how they handled that. And I'm so glad that we didn't react emotionally when we talked about it on the show. Like, we really didn't hammer the company over it. We just kind of like thought that was really weird. Uh, here's how we want to talk about it, guys. Here's how we want to present what happened. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Let's work together. Yeah. Because he did a very stand-up thing, and I want to make sure... I think we actually tell, let him tell the story on the show. Mark Randolph, co-founder of Netflix. That should be pretty interesting. So, He's going to be remote, unfortunately. It'd be great to have him in the studio since he lives nearby, but, you know, when you're a billionaire, I guess you can say whether you want to travel or not. You know what I mean? I really do think it would be smart for us to do a couple 35, 40 minute YouTube specific uh, podcasts. Fight in the dust. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let me talk to the guys and see if that, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if we could sell tickets for that fast unless we do some sort of just killer deal or we offer it for free because it's last minute. No, Gavin Newsom already came out and said it's, it's not. This is a terrorist animal. Be careful. This guy's zoomed right now. Small but dangerous. He talks to entrepreneurs and basically tells them an actionable step they can take immediately. And that basically most ideas are just, you should just <laughs> trash them almost immediately because um, if you can't, if you can't so base that idea in reality, uh, it's worthless. We all, as much as we're driven to scale this and, and have success and win, uh, everyone values their time with their family and their loved ones and the things that give them joy outside of building a business. And so we've found a way to build that within the business and our company and our culture. And he's like that. Like he did not sacrifice, you know, skiing and rock climbing and date nights with his wife. like. He made it a point to build the company around that and obviously had a, built something to a billion dollar or over a billion dollars through still uh, prioritizing those things in his life that, that gave him joy. So uh, I really value that about my partners is they all had that same vision when we first built this as much as we're all driven for success and, uh, and to build something great. Not at, not at the expense of losing the things that we all know give us joy, you know? So it's, uh, I, I love that part of his story too. He's found a way to do that. His, pretty much his entire 40 year career as an entrepreneur. And he's talking to this one guy who is basically a competitor to Calm and Headspace. He's a um, hypnotherapist. So it's a little more customized and detailed, but it's, and he's trying to push him in the subscription, subscription way. This guy's had a lot of success by selling a la carte, yeah, yeah. 3.99, thing 3.99. Exactly what he recommends this guy, we are building right now, we are building the uh, subscription-based streaming model right now weighs very heavy. Yeah, because then they, that's you can actually measure the scalability of that. You could literally test it and find out is this what your customers want? It's definitely. Definitely. Angles definitely. Definitely. Are you? Definitely. And, definitely. Any the difference between the two? What do you mean by that? You don't think we should have him tell kind of the, who he is in relation to? Well, that's the real house. That'll be us opening it. Okay. That'll be the intro. the intro. Yeah. That'll be our intro, and, and I know we'll get into that. Right. But I think that's such a, a compelling way to open. Like, what do you mean all ideas are? Explain that, you know, because that'll lead us to. Well, I I'm think. Gonna, we're gonna remember how exactly how he said that. He said yeah. That. What does he say that all ideas are? All ideas are bad. Oh uh, yeah. So Mark, you really represent uh, the avatar, I would say, of the entrepreneur. Um, the amount of things that you've started, risks you've taken, of course, obviously extremely successful. 
There's a question that I hear often that's asked about entrepreneurship, and I'd love to hear your take on it. And that question is, do you think entrepreneurs are born? Is it something that we're born with, or is it something that can be developed? You guys are running in the hole, and you were desperate, you need money, but then you, you persevere through eight years. What were some of the things that you guys accomplished to start generating revenue to keep it afloat if you didn't take money on? Another good interview. That was a lot of much needed business advice for the entrepreneurs out there. I just like it because he just gets right to the point. And um, everybody that is on Instagram or searching for this kind of information usually gets just a bunch of fluff um, and hype and motivational uh, type of content. And uh, everything he said was very actionable and um, it, 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 there's a lot of takeaways in, in that episode, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys do too. So after that interview, it just made, really made me realize that we're we're an awful lot like Netflix. <laughs> we're the Netflix of podcasting. We're the Netflix of podcasting. I was gonna tell them that. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're the Netflix of dog walking. We're the Netflix of haircuts. We're the Netflix of podcasting. That's what I'm gonna start saying. <laughs> that used to be the Joe Rogan. Uh, I think my keys might be in there. Uh, Fitness? Maybe not, though. Hold on, let me. Little muscle. Try to go through Paul. Paul's. Where's he at? Yeah. Yeah. We just got deactivated? Doug. What's well, up? I thought you said this was going. Dang. What's Alan here? Oh, let's see here. Oh, I've got the lock back on. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. It says inactive. Oh, inactive membership. Oh, uh, what's your what's our passcode under the info email? Oh, what's up? 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 Oh, all right, Eli. Where you got? You guys are leaving me here. Yeah, we're going up to Truckee. Chaos always before we go up. You know, that's how we're that's how we're organized, which is dis disorganized.